Hello and welcome to this video that will teach you how to use the drag and drop feature in PolyLearn. Drag and drop allows you to add files to your PolyLearn course such as lecture slides, a syllabus, or even audio clips very quickly and easily. Before starting, make sure that you're using one of the OK browsers which include Firefox, Safari, and Google Chrome. In this example, I will be using Google Chrome. Starting at the main page of the course, the first step is to turn editing on. Soon after editing is turned on, a little notification should come down from the top of the page explaining how to drag and drop. If you are using an incompatible browser, you will not see this notification. With editing on, you can easily put any file you want into your course using the drag and drop technique. Simply click on, hold, and drag any file you want into the course page and it will automatically upload it for you. Some file types have multiple options when you go to upload them, such as audio files, video files, and picture files. As you can see here, I will drag in a picture file and show you what the multiple options look like. The top option, Add Media to Course Page, will simply put your picture right in your course page. While the second option, Create File Resource, creates a page where you can view your photo. Now we'll do the same thing with an audio file. If you add Media to Course Page, you get a little viewer right there in the page and you also have a download button whereas if you put the media in its own page create file resource then you'll have to go to another page to listen to the audio it's very similar with videos in that you can watch the video on the main page or you can create a web page that you can watch the video in just like this if you have a lot of files and you would rather upload them in a folder instead that is also possible simply create a folder with all the files you want to upload into your PolyLearn course and zip it up if you don't know how to zip up a folder, on a Mac, simply right click the folder and then hit compress and you will end up with a zipped up version of your folder. On a Windows, all you have to do is right click on the folder, hover over send to and select compressed zipped folder. When you drag the zipped file into your PolyLearn, you must choose whether you want PolyLearn to unzip the file and host it in PolyLearn, which looks like this. Or you can have PolyLearn just host a download link for your students, which will make them download the whole folder, which looks like this. Or if you are importing a SCORM package, select that option. If you want to change the name of a file or folder after it has been dropped in, simply click the pencil icon next to the file, enter the new name, and press enter or return on your keyboard. If you would like to change more about the file, such as display options, click on the edit button and then click the edit settings button. This will take you to the settings page for the file or folder where you can change anything you want. Once you're done changing what you wanted, click the save and return to course or the save and display button at the bottom of the page. That's all for drag and drop and if you have any more questions, please visit our PolyLearn support website at polylearnsupport.calpoly.edu.